Hey guys, we are in the basement and today, yes today guys, on this episode of John's Arcade. Well guys, <laughs> buckle up because this is a big episode. Guys, we're going to cover a ton of ground in this video. I am not kidding because, well I'll tell you, I'm taking you guys to work with me today. That's right. So, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna go to the Hangar Pub and Grill. We're gonna hook up with my buddy Jay, okay? And also our friend Tim's gonna come to help us today to do our stuff. And let me tell you what's going on. Actually, let, let's back up just a little bit because about a, a month ago, okay, my buddy Jay and I, we put some games out on location. Actually, we, we partnered with this, this place called the Hangar Pub and Grill, also Amherst Brewery, the same building. Actually, the Hangar Pub and Grill was just named by uh, Delish.com the number one sports bar in Massachusetts. Pretty cool. Well, anyway, we have games in there, okay? And so, so far we've had 26 games, and so the last month we've been pretty much fixing everything, and everything's kind of stabilizing now, okay? And all the games are running really great, so now we're ready to bring some more games. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. We have four new games that we're gonna put on the floor today in this video, but here's the thing. The games are not ready. They're not ready for prime time. There's a lot of little things that we have to fix and we're gonna fix them all in this video. And I think you're gonna like this a lot. There's a lot of stuff that we cover, a lot of interesting little things that we just have to do, you know, like from buttons and coin mechs and monitors and lights. Uh, my, my buddy Tim is rebuilding the OutRun control panel, the whole video. So anyway, I don't wanna ruin too much. It's a good video. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. And then we'll come back to the basement and do viewer mail and hang out and all that good stuff. So anyway, enough of that. Let's just go to the hangar and meet up with my buddy Jay, okay? And also our friend Tim's gonna come and help us as well. So this is gonna be a good, fun day of arcade goodness. All right, guys. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just go to the hangar pub and grill. Amherst Mass. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the hangar. Hey, guys. Hey, Jay's here. We're at the hangar. <laughs> so, so Jay, uh, today's a big day. Why's that, John? Well, we brought four new games. Four? Turnkey games? No, nah, they're not turnkey, though. We got to do some work on them, Jay. Oh, that sounds right. <laughs> so, today, we're going to kind of document this. Um, the games are already here. Let's go check them out. But they all need a little bit of work before we can put them on the floor. And uh, one of them I'm really excited about because Jay and I, we, we bought a Turtles, Jay. Yeah. An all original Turtles. Nice looking too. It is pretty nice looking. Yeah, it's, got, it's got some issues though. We're gonna take care of them, I think, right away in the video here. But let, let's kind of go back here. Whoa, the tripod is coming apart. All right, look at this, we're gliding. So it's, um, what is today, Tuesday? Hey, Tim's here, by the way. Hey, Tim. Hey, John. Tim's uh, helping us today. This is uh, Mr. Dude. How are you guys? Is, is that Tim guy on YouTube? Is that, that what it is? Yeah. Alright, so we got an outrun. Jay, what's going on with this control panel though? Uh, it's uh, why this. is it red? Watch this. <laughs> Check it out. It just what? keeps spinning. <laughs> what, but what game is this from? I think, you know, I've seen about a half a dozen outruns that have red control panels like this. Are you serious? I'm serious, yeah. So I think... Because originally it was silver. Yeah, I think they made like two versions. Maybe but the gears are blown out. The gears are totally blown. We'll show you this later. Yeah. It's a mess. So we brought a new control panel. We're going to swap that out. And this is and that's all we need to do, right? Yeah, is, is the gas pedal is a little hoarse, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should fix <laughs> so that. We'll fix all of that. Yep, yep. And then we got a Neo Geo 4 slot. And uh, so right now it's got Metal Slug in there. We're also going to put uh, Puzzle Bobble. Yep. And Last Blade. And uh, Baseball, Baseball Stars, Stars 2. Right. And that's a pretty okay looking uh, big big red there. Yeah, that's all right. Got to have Donkey Kong Jr. Yep. A funny story with this. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, beautiful bezel on this thing. So, it was so, so this thing was trucked here from Jay's place, and on the way, the bezel blew off on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> a million pieces somewhere on the highway. Yeah. So somewhere on on the Mass Turnpike, there is a uh, Donkey Kong Jr. bezel. Yeah. <laughs> so, keep an eye out for it. So, and then uh, over here is our turtles, uh, which we're going to start with. Um, so, and, and by the way, so here's the place. And uh, so the Turtles is right here. So right away you can see the marquee lights out. We'll, we'll fix that up. But I was playing with it yesterday, Jay, and uh, the uh, Donatello's joystick was not moving left. That's a problem. What's that? That's a problem. That is a big problem. So we're gonna see if we can fix that. And hopefully it's not a board issue. Okay. Um, I did bring another board if we have to swap it. Okay. But why don't we just get to work and maybe swap out the, the marquee light and starter. That sounds good. But I, I think this looks pretty good for all original. Yeah. It's in good shape. It is, and uh, we bought this from an operator down in uh, Rhode Island, right? Yeah, that's right. And uh, you don't really see a lot of all original turtles for sale. 
No, this is the first one I've seen in a long time. Right. We kind of overpaid. <laughs> we needed it. But we needed it. We really needed it here. And, and by the way, we did our, our coin count today. Do you guys want? So the, the top five games still. Pole position killed it. Yeah, NBA Fast. Uh, I'm sorry, Ghostbusters is number one. Yep. Number two was NBA Fast Break. Third was Pole Position 2, believe it or not. Wow. And then uh, fourth was Pac Man. Pac Man. And, and then fifth was Star, Star Wars. Wars again, so that's yeah. our top five still. Yeah, that's great. And then we had some surprise games that moved up on I, the I list. I think this is going to be. Right uh, yeah, I think this is going to kill it. Number one or two. I hope so. After the after the pin. And then Frogger like doubled. Oh, easily, yeah. Frogger, Miss Pac-Man, Burger Time all went up. Yeah, ever since we moved them over here, it really helped. Yeah. And in general, if you guys care, I mean, uh, the arcade got more activity the last two weeks than the first two weeks. That's right. So we're we're pretty happy here. So we're we're going to add to it and make it better. Yeah. So four more games today. Yes. Four new games today. So why don't we get to work here? I, I guess we'll just start with something simple and swap out the marquee light. Um, yesterday, I, I uh, actually removed that, trying to fix it, okay. and I didn't have a bulb, I only had a starter. All right. And uh, it wasn't the starter. So it's the bulb. There's no bulb in there right now. Oh. All right. Uh, in my bag, there's uh, bulbs and starters. So let's get this off here. And it should just be a standard 18-inch. Uh, I, I don't think we need a starter. I already okay. put one in. So just a bulb. Yeah. So there you go. So I bought the bulbs at Top Bulb. Which, by the way, I these the bulbs at, at Top Bulb are like a dollar fifty. Really? Yeah. If you go to buy this like at Ace or Home Depot, like it's like eight bucks. Yeah, I know. That's stupid. <laughs> it is totally stupid. And every time I need to go buy a bulb at Ace or something, I just I kill. I just kills me to spend the money. Yeah. So it's best to stock up uh, at TopBulb.com. Good plug for Top Bulb. It is a good plug for Top Bulb. <laughs> I also have like fifty Nintendo bulbs in my garage too from them. All right. All right, so hopefully this fixes it, Jay. All right. All right, you ready? Go for it, John. Are we in? Yay! Uh, all right, so that's one little thing fixed. I wish they were all that easy. Yeah, so now I want to I want to put the game in test. Uh, we should pull up the dip switch settings, and also I want to make sure that we have the default dip switch settings. Okay. Because um, I, I was playing the game yesterday. It felt really hard. We should probably clean this, huh? Yeah. Let's clean this. All right, let's get some Windex and, and clean. This is kind of junky, huh? All right, hang on. All right, Jay, I, I got most of it off. The rust is really on there, but I think it'll just kind of disappear in here. Yeah, you're not going to see it. We're kind of out of cleaner and paper towels, too. <laughs> so, all right, you know, that marquee looks pretty good. It looks a lot better now. Yeah, it looks awesome. All right, let's throw the screws in there. So this is original marquee. It's not faded at all. It looks good. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. This game was well preserved wherever it was. I just love that it's like unmolested. Yeah. Because yeah, these we had talked about taking a cab that had been converted and, and unconverting, deconverting it, and right? It back to turtles. That would have been a ton of work. I know. And you know, getting all the artwork for it, finding the original joystick. And it's board, winter. And it's winter time. You don't want to be in your garage this R winter. No, time. I don't. So. This was kind of, it needed to be done. So. Here, can you get those yeah, two? Sure. All right, so we're going to screw this down, and then we're going to pull the game out and uh, check those dip switch settings and also put it in service so we could test the joysticks and buttons. All right, we got the marquee on. So let, let's pull the game out. I want to put it in test because I think that if we do, we can do a button and joystick test on this. You guys gotta admit though, this sire looks great. I know it's got some scuffs on it. It doesn't bother me at all though. I wouldn't touch that. Okay. Kawabonga. Alright, so let's uh let's grab the key. So the key to the back door is in the coin door, so let me grab it. 
Did Tim bring any coin door bulbs? Because we definitely need uh, those. I think he did. All right. So this is serial number 21222. You think they made like 20,000 of these? Oh, look, it's, they have the dip switch settings on the wall in there. So let's take a peek in here. So, so here's the PCB. And uh, so we need to get it into test mode. So let's turn it off. We'll use the interlock here. All right, so what's the dip switch setting for the service mode? Uh, so dip switch six and seven um, on off is normal. So I want to put it on normal. Okay. I think it's on hard. But anyway, for now, let's put it into test. Okay, so. So it's right there, change of mode. Yeah, it looks like, was that switch three? Uh, should be on for test mode. Switch three? All right, so there's three, there's three dip switches right here. Three banks. Yep. So, uh, let's see, that's switch number one is the coin max. Switch number two is the more coin max settings. Switch number three, dip switch number three. Yes. Okay. So and then you want switch one. Uh, no. Switch three. Switch three. I think is should be off. well. It should be in game mode now, which should be off. So you want to turn it on three. Turn it on for test. I just turned the game on. All right. We grabbed a screwdriver here. So, so just be careful. The interlock where your back is. Okay. So three. We want. On. Oh, that might be test. Okay. Try that. Was it already on? Was it on? I think it was on. Okay, yeah, it's in test. Okay. So it says uh, RAM and ROM check it passed. So let's come up here and see if we can mask ROM check. So it's going through all the tests here. Because yesterday I was trying to test the joysticks and buttons by playing the game. Ugh. Oh my god, it was so annoying. It's torture. Is this I think it's just reading the ROMs. Okay. I think. It's a lot of data, Jay. Okay. You tell me. <laughs> I really don't know what it's doing. All right, I hope it gets out of this eventually. I don't know if there's a way to advance it or. I mean, there's no like service button or anything on, on these games. It's all dip switch setting controlled. All right, well, we're gonna let it just do its thing here. We'll come back. All right, so we're back and it's still doing this. It's been doing it. It's been on the screen for like two, three minutes. Um, oh, here. All right. You said they were big ROMs. Jimmy. They are big ROMs. A lot of data. Maybe. Is this normal? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's changing. I wonder what it's doing. And maybe this is the, the test? Maybe the check, yeah. All right, well, we're going to let this go. We've never done this before, so we don't really know what to expect. I sure hope it gets out of this. All right, we're going to just let it go for a couple minutes. I, I looked in the manual, too, and it's not doesn't really talk at all about this, the test menu. Hmm. Okay. But you can do a switch test menu? like we can, Yeah. Okay. And we were talking about it on the John's Arcade Forum, and my buddy Daniel showed me what that screen should look like. Okay. And you eventually get to it. Um, there it goes. All right. Okay. Okay, there. Okay. Oh, come on. Please. It's not going to cycle back, is it? <laughs> no, maybe not. I wish there was like an advance button or something, you know, to actually walk through all the tests. This is odd. Alright, I guess we'll just let it go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, so left works. Right works. Up, down, shoot. Ugh. Get the two together. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever hit the two at the same time. Oh, man. All right, well, I guess we'll wait for it to loop back around. <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> All 
All right, while it's doing this, we're gonna wait for it to cycle back around. Let's go see what Tim's up to. Tim on the <laughs> outrun. I think Tim's gonna have a problem with the gas pedal. Oh, really? Yeah. Tim, what's happening? Hey, John, so this gas pedal has actually already been repaired once. Oh, really? Uh, I brought a pedal. Yep. I'll show you the pedal. Wow, this control panel is crazy. There's wood on the inside? Yeah. yeah. Is that how oh, the original one? You gotta close up the gear in there. It's actually missing the main it's gear. Like the, Holy oh. cow. Yeah, so guys, you see why they always have those repro gears everywhere? <laughs> yeah, and it, there should be a big gear here yeah. that turns this the one steering everything pot, here. Yeah. So, and it, this actually, no, this is where the uh, mechanism is that bumps the bump stops. Oh. So it stops at this bumper here. Right. And that's missing. Oh boy. And the gas pedal is, is hosed? So this gas pedal's actually already been repaired once. Someone welded that on there, didn't they? Welded yeah. on. This is what it should look like on the bottom. Okay. And this part has been re-welded to that. Oh. So I have another assembly just not here with me. I just brought a gas pedal. So we'll replace the whole assembly, uh, is what you're telling us, right? Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a whole new pedal at arm that comes out. Okay. Mm. I mean, it is technically playable like that. It's just yeah. ugly. It's just, yeah. All right, so what's the plan? You're just going to swallow out the control so panel? I, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I, ha I brought another one of these mechanisms, this whole metal part. Yep. Swap that out. and then We're going to keep the red. You're going to I don't. I didn't yes. bring mine. Mine's hose. Okay. Keep the red. Uh, actually, so you're telling me, part. honestly, I've never seen yes. a red one. I have seen about a half a dozen of them like this. I've always thought really? they were Really? No. But I guess it's an original This, this must have been mold. factory, yeah. <laughs> really? Must have been I'm like serious, John. I've, I've actually part. sold three of them with these panels. Myself. I have never seen yes. that. That's crazy. I the same thing. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, somebody painted this. Or, yeah, it just, it, you know. it doesn't look right at all. I know. <laughs> Maybe this was the luxury edition. Right. Of Outrun, you know, the upgraded. Maybe this was an early one or a later yeah. one. Yeah. Maybe the, the process to make it silver was too expensive or something. Who knows? So they cheaped out, went to red. All right, so. So I'm actually going to repair that with, remember that one I got at the auction? Yeah. That's the parts one that I brought. Okay. Nice. So that that's what's... That's right, when we were at the Westfield auction. Right. Yeah. So that I used that rescue. one to build my other outrun. Because <laughs> that had a working board set. All right. Oh, nice. Which is which is hard to find. Yeah. So, all right, the Turtles is back, Jay. We can go right, over here now. I, I think. All right, John, whatever you do, don't hit both buttons. All right, but how do we get out of this grid? Uh, I think you hit one of the buttons. All right. All right, color test. Okay. There, okay. All right, so now we're on the button screen. All right, so we already did this. Up, down, left, right. Those all seem to work, right? Yes. And now this one, up, down, left, right. That's all good. Okay. And then up, down, left. Ah, see? So see that. It's just a little intermittent. You know, it's like it's getting the signal, but it right. be a contact thing. The problem I was worried about was the board issue because I guess these boards are known for that input chip. Yeah. There's a LS whatever chip. 250 something. Yeah. All right, so we just need to really it's working now, but you, you can tell it's a little fidgety, you know? Yeah. Because last night when I was here, like I said, two of the three, th actually three of the four joysticks all had issues. Okay. And I took like a piece of paper and some deoxid and cleaned Cleaned. all the leaves. Yep. And, and that fixed these two. Okay. And this one I could not... This is Donatello. Wow, it's working now. Jay, look at it. It's totally working. Yeah, maybe it's just con more contact cleaner. Actually, this... Okay, these buttons are all working too. Yeah. How about those? Don't press these. No, no. Down, up, down, left, right. All right, okay. so up, down, left, right. All right, well, we'll check it in game mode again to make sure it works. It's totally working. But wasn't it just intermittent when you were doing a it? A little bit. When I first started it, it was kind of like a little fidgety. Maybe the deoxid overnight. Uh, <laughs> they cleaned it up. Yeah. All right, let, let's check the just the dip switch settings in general, because I, I want to make sure it's not on the super hard setting, okay. which I think it is. So I'll tell you right now yes. what dip for uh, normal setting is supposed to be. Uh, so dip switch, according to club here. Yeah. So default uh, is uh, easy is um, well normal is on off. So switch, six and seven. Six and seven on switch two. All right, so let's do that. And right now it's set to one one. Which is very difficult, you were right. I know, it's I could tell it, it was stupid hard. Yeah. And I was trying to test the joysticks, and, and the guys kept like just, you know, t uh, like uh, tackling my guy, <laughs> so I couldn't get free. So I'm just gonna turn seven off and see if it changes here. Okay, and then we, on dip switch three, we need to turn three back off, right? Yes. Wait, well, hang on, the game's on. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, the game's off now. And so also yesterday, we were missing a coin mech, and, and so I replaced that. And all the coin mechs seem to be working great. All right, so now it should be on and off. So that should have done it. Now, do you, were you just going to take it out of test mode? Yeah, take it out of test mode. Or do you wanna, If we want to verify, well, that's fine. We don't have to verify it. And then I think there's another setting for number of turtles or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, got to yeah. make sure we have that on default. Number of player lives or number of turtles? Yeah, so right there, see it says zero. That's the default setting. Okay. So the d default setting should be on, off. On, off. Okay. On one, two. Okay. Right? Yeah. And that says number of lives is two. Okay, so they get two lives. All right, so switch one wants to be on and switch two wants to be off. So I, I'm not sure. It might be on one life right now. It was set to off, off. Okay. Which is probably one life, I think. Let's take a look. Off, off is one life. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, I could tell. I was, I was, I had to keep crediting up the off. game. We're all good? I think so. I hope so. Even all right. Better I made it, I don't know. Yeah. You think it's right? It's supposed to be switch one, it's supposed to be on and then off, right? I guess we could put it in test to verify yeah, it. Yeah, we should probably do that. All right. All right, so we're back in test mode. We'll come back after it does the uh, mass ground check. Let's see what's going on, going on over here. Tim, how's it going? <laughs> and by the way, Tim, you did a whole restore series on OutRun. Uh, well, I did my outrun, yeah. Yeah. I didn't do the whole thing, but... But I you have a bunch of... You have videos. a bunch of videos on the outrun. So I've done repro gears. I did the 3D printed gears. Uh-huh. Um, I wish I brought more of those. I only printed one did set. Did those hold up okay? They're did still holding up on my machine. On really? The plastic. No kidding. So, so why would you 3D use. print them when you can buy them? Is it just cheaper? Somebody had the files out there. Oh, okay. One of the okay. guys in the local forum had the file. He said, here, I got this. Don't buy them. So I said, I'll try it. Really? So we tried I 3D printed it at work. Okay. And, and there uh, you go. There we go. So... We're actually just gonna we're gonna leave the motor. Okay. And we're gonna take this whole assembly. Yep. So I pulled out the cotter pin here. Yep. And we're going to then take out this mechanism. There's some bolts on the bottom. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna need to use the potentiometer that's on that machine over there. Yeah. And we'll put that in and go. There's two screws here, and this gear interacts with it. Okay. This is what was missing on the other one. That's the bump stop. So okay. When you turn it. It stops at the bumper. Right. Because right now you can go 360. Right. And the other thing that's also missing on that is it's not the springs aren't connected. So you should have resistance anyway on that one. Right. Right. And you don't. Interesting. It's funny because I had the cabaret, and th totally different uh, guts. Right. There was a motor in there that's more like a hammer. So it, it was would shake things exactly would shake the on the cabaret. There was a, a a little motor here that would pound on this, and so the motion you had was like this. Uh, right. And whereas whereas uh, the full size, it's more left and right. Right. Yeah. So this that motor actually drives the whole thing. The whole thing's got a plastic you know, bushing that it slides on. Right. 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 So we're gonna pull that out and swap it with the other one. Really uh, heavy duty mechanism, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like compare that to like out, I mean pole position. Oh yeah. I mean this is night and day. Yeah, well, this is very industrial. I think a lot of it has to do with a giant motor that's like shaking this thing back and forth. So, right. You know, they really had to come up with a pretty robust design. Right, and then that. and then pole position the joystick goes full 360. Exactly. So it just has like an optical uh, wheel sensor. Yeah. 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 All right, Tim. Let's go back to turtles, guys. We're multitasking here. <laughs> Is this fun? All right. So, okay. All right. So there's the dip switch right, settings. Let's see how those lined up. So dip switch one, they're all off. Okay. Yes. And yeah. that gives us what? That gives us one coin, one play. Okay, that's good. Dip okay. switch two, six and eight are on. Okay. So six. Uh, well, six and seven, uh, so six on and seven off would be normal. Okay, that's good. Okay. It's on normal. Uh, and then sound and track mode switch eight should be on. Okay. Okay, and then you were worried about the number of lives, so... Yes. Uh, for normal, that would be uh, switch one should be on and two should be off. Mmm. That's not correct. That's not right. All right, so don't touch it. I'm going to go turn it on and we know if it changes. Okay. All right. So you're going to change it while the game's on. Correct. Which I'm always scared to do, but I remember like Adam told me one day, well, it's just a switch. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not going to do any damage. <laughs> All right, so, 
We gotta make it so this game's playable. I don't want people getting frustrated. Yeah. Uh, normal. Six on seven on. Six on seven on. So I have that. Is it saying that six is not coming on? Um. Uh, what are you complaining about? Six should be on, Jay, what are you asking me? Uh, six should be on and seven should be off. That's true? Yes, that should be normal. Eight, eight, eight is on. Is that what it's saying on the screen? Six is on and seven is off? Yes. Okay, and oh, and the number of lives. So on the number of lives... It's switch two. Switch two should be off. It is. Switch one should be on. It, right, so switch one needs to go on. Okay. Right now it's off. Did it change? Yes. All right. So right now switch one is on. Yes. Six is on and eight is on. That is correct. All right, so All right. we should have the default settings. Let's try it. Let's All right, that. let's play the game. All right, we're going to take it out of test here. I don't understand how Donatello's joystick was working because we, we had to reboot. Yep. Because that was absolutely not working yesterday. So why don't we... Um, Oh. Hmm. Still, Still in. Yeah. No, it's not. Okay. I think that's part of the, just the boot sequence. Power up. Yeah. All right, so let's let's coin it up here, and uh, and we'll try all the players. Okay, so I'll be Donatello and uh, I'll be uh, Raphael. I'll be Leonardo and Michelangelo. All right, my Italian brothers. <laughs> All right, let's go. Fire! Hang on, April. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's totally working now. Huh. Like the oxygen wasn't there. You think just sitting on it overnight? Maybe you were a little tired last night. <laughs> I was a little tired last night. <laughs> All right, well, I feel good about that. Right. Yeah, it's totally working, dude. All right, cool. all right, we're all set. That's it. This game's done. <laughs> so I adjusted the monitor last night, uh, the focus and the screen a little bit. Is it too loud? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because when this place is rocking at night, it's hard to hear everything. All right, good. Dude, I'm so happy we have this game here. Yeah. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yep. All right, so let's put this in its hole and then move on to the next game. We should do, uh, what do you want to do Junior next? Let's do Neo Geo next. All right, let's do Neo Geo. We're going to button this up and we'll come back. All right, actually, before we push it back, we're going to change the uh, coin door bulbs. Are they, uh, are they 12 or, uh, actually, one just fell out of its... Yeah. Are they 12 volts? Uh, they are, I don't know, what are these? Let me see. So... I can't tell. I mean, if we put the 6 volt ones in, we'll find out really quick. <laughs> They're not our volts anyway, right? <laughs> We, we could, uh, why don't I get my multimeter and we'll figure it out. So with the coin doors, they're usually either 5 volts or 12 volts. And if you put like the 5 volt ones in the 12 volt, they will glow really bright and then really burn bright. out in like a minute. So let's just, just verify the voltage here. I can't see the meter. Yeah, I can tell you. Uh, nothing yet. Uh, five volts. They're five? Yeah. All right. Let's try this. Bingo. So just like a standard 4.4 four or 5.5.5, yeah. five, five, five. what is it? I always get those two mi mixed up. Uh, four fours? 5.5.5. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. All right. All right, so that's, look at that. It looks great. It does look great. <laughs> Jay, I'm so glad we got this game. Yeah, me too, John. It's got all the original joysticks, too. Yeah. It's funny that dust washers, though, 
These little things actually bother me. The dust washers? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Should they be below the control panel, above the control panel? I hate seeing them on top of the control <laughs> panel. I do too. I think it just looks tacky. It looks really tacky, and I'll tell you that I cheated. When I swapped out the joysticks on Mortal Kombat, I put them on the top. Because that, that whole thing is so annoying to take yeah, apart. I know. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I'll fix it eventually, so. All right, let's slide it in. Get it off on the combat. All right, I think it looks good there. What do you guys think, huh? Looks great. Mortal Kombat and Turtles right there. All right, so why don't we move on to the Neo Geo? Let's do it. Should we work on it back here? Is that what we're gonna do? Sure. So, and by the way, so we got cartridges. Um, let me grab these. So this Neo Geo is kind of a fixer upper. But it, it works 100%. And then, what cartridges are, are in here now? Let's take a look. I know there's Metal Slug, and uh, I think it's uh, Cyberlift, and Last Blade, and World Heroes 2. Okay, so Jay and I last night were talking, trying to figure out which fighter to put in here. And really, I think ideally we want King of Fighters, but of the two that are, we have, we think Last Blade's the way to go. Yeah. So we're gonna have one fighter, Metal Slug, Puzzle Bobble, and Baseball Stars 2. And we'll try that out here to start. And let's take a peek in here. So last blade, you can see a Metal Slug. Um, so we're gonna take out World Heroes 2. Yep. And then Cyberlip. Okay, so take those and two then out. for what it's worth, yeah, Met let's... Metal Slug should be in the first slide. We could change the marquees, okay, yeah, it we'll doesn't matter. The and then let's put in, uh, and then here's, wait, wait, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta put these in. Yeah, I was just gonna, okay. <laughs> there's Puzzle Bobble right, and Baseball Star. particular order? I don't, I don't, does it matter? I don't. It just cycles through them all, right, so. Tim, by the way, thanks for coming, man, and helping us. No problem. Guys, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. What, what do they do? Go, they go on YouTube and search for that Tim guy, the arcade? Yeah. Or if you take in uh, Sega Outrun Hacky Mod. What's that? <laughs> the Sega Outrun uh, Hacky Steering Mod. Oh, really? There's one where I found instead of this, they put an Allen key in. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I saw that. Stop yeah, yeah, yeah. Allen key. <laughs> All right, John, let's change the um, The coin door bulbs? Yeah, let's change the marquee. Okay. Top. Uh, mini marquees up there. So did you put new EL paper in here? I did, yeah. Where did you get it? Um, actually, I ordered a whole bunch years ago from when I first restored my Neo Geo. Re do you have more? Because I could use fresh I, ones. I think I do. Yeah, so. I'd like to buy some from you. Oh, yeah. Sure. So Metal Slug is in two. Right. Oh, and you want to put the new Metal Slug you just did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That or, looks pretty good, though. Yeah, it? it's a little tired, I okay, think. Okay, so... Let's here, do a before and after. All right. Um, here's the original... Not yeah. Pro. <laughs> and here's a new John's Arcade. Well, last night I went on the internet and I found the artwork and I printed them on photo paper, right? So here's the metal slug I, I mean, printed. Look at the difference in color. Yeah, but the thing is, the photo paper, I don't think back, backlights uh, as nice because it's, it's uh, this, this is, is right? this is more translucent, okay. I think. Why don't, why, actually, why don't we you plug it in? Side by side? Yeah, let's plug it in and, it's, and really kind of A, B them. Okay, let's do that. So we're gonna have to get some power over here. We could do that. But not lit, I mean, I, I think the inkjet obviously looks better. And so I inkjet uh, uh, on photo paper the last blade, and then I had uh, an original bust to move, and then a long time ago I, I printed a puzzle bobble, I'm not sure which one we're gonna use. And then here's my original baseball stars, and then I also did a repro one too, which has really strong colors. So we'll kind of figure out which ones to put. Can you right. move the camera and I'll move the Neo Geo over there? Yeah, we gotta get power here, so let's, uh, we're gonna move stuff around, hang on. All right, we just plugged it into the food truck. <laughs> wow, dude, those look great. It's Fatso's food truck. Dude, that EL paper is way brighter than mine. Yeah. I, have, I have original new old stock ones. Yours are kind of weak. They're totally weak. Yeah, yeah, it makes a big difference. All right, so you see what that one looks like? Is that the repro? That is the repro, yeah. So you can tell it looks a little... A little blown out? Yeah, I don't know. But the thing is, your EL paper is so strong. You gotta crumb it up. Oh, this button's a little sticky, so... There we go. Yeah, it looks a little different, mm. yeah? Yeah, this is the original. Yeah. All right, right. what do you think? I kind of like the original. You want to keep the original? Do you? Yeah. 
It's we yeah, we're gonna have replace micro switches. We actually have a ton of them. Yeah, there we go. All right, so the force slot's not working, by the no, way. No, okay. So maybe it's just the cartridge. I mean, yeah, we'll just reseat it. Reseat it. Yeah. So okay, so that's the repro. Correct. Fine. Yeah. The original looks better. Yeah. All right, we'll stick with the original. Then. Okay. So let's put all the right ones in. Okay. So I think slot one was last blade. That's correct. Battle yes. slot. All right, so last blade right here. Hmm. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, there it is. It's on the bottom. And then slot three was... We gotta replace that micro switch. Not changing. Slot three is baseball stars. It was. Yeah. Okay. So here's here's an ori original one. And then slot four is puzzle bubble. This is an original. Should we use bust a move or puzzle bubble? So in in Japan mm. they called the game bust a move. Okay. And in the or no that, that's backwards. In puzzle Japan bobble. they call it puzzle bubble. Okay. So that's the original one. And let's see the repro. Mm, uh, I don't know. This is the repro inkjet. I think the original. All right. Eh. It looks a little washed out. All right, let's let's do the repro one on that. The yellow is a lot stronger. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks good. And then let's use the original bust and move, which is in pretty good shape. Okay. All right, but we got to get the slots working. So let's take a look at that uh, switch. Okay. And then actually we have to reseat. This is not in, okay. uh, whatever. It's a poor cut job. <laughs> I freehanded it with scissors, Jay. Yeah, all it shows, John. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's, <clears throat> let's reseat the cartridges. Okay. Maybe we should blow on it, Jay. You want to do that, John? <laughs> I have. Okay. Like a Nintendo cartridge? Yeah. You know what I do? I clean them with the alcohol. Like, I just take yeah, a yeah. sip and I go over the... Uh... Yeah, I've done that, too. <clears throat> a little bit like a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol or iso isopropyl. A little isopropyl. Let's see if that did it. All right, let's see if it, all four slots work now. All right, so that's the last blade. Okay, middle slug's slug. good. Baseball stars, come on, give us bust a move. There we go. Oh, and reseat it again. <laughs> All right, I just reset the game. Yeah. Well. All right, middle slug. Uh, I think just, maybe, do you think we need to clean this cartridge or something? We might have to, uh, yeah. All right, we do, what do you think, deoxid on it? I don't know, I've never deoxidated the contacts. Just reseat it again, because I, I it, it will work. Because I this was a cartridge I had, had in mind. I usually just go up and down like a few times. All right, let's try that. Pac-Man's getting played. People are playing games, look. Look at that. Wow. It's early, too. Yeah, it is. Oh, I gotta fix this button. All right, Metal Slug, Baseball Stars. There you hey, go. There we go. Bust a move. All right. Cool. So all we got to do right now is test all the buttons and replace the uh, the micro switch on the select one. Is that yes, right? Yes, definitely the select micro switch. Seems to be off. And these, have you seen these buttons before, John? I hate these stuff. No, I haven't. These are like, you put the micro switch in vertically and then there's a set screw that actually mm. holds the switch in. Really? And yeah, it's just a pain because I'm so used to being able to just quickly remove yes. the micro switch without having to do anything. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go upstairs and I've got a bucket of buttons that we pulled off Mortal Kombat okay. and we'll recycle those. Perfect. So let, let's get the buttons. All right. You wanna... All right, before we do that, let's check on Tim. <laughs> <laughs> and a strip screw here. Oh no. So what you do to get this out is you you undo the cotter pin here. Yep. 
and then you pull this motor backwards. If you don't, make sure that when you pull this out, if you just do it all loosey-goosey, the gears inside this box will fall out. Oh, really? But I had a strip screw here. Oh, bummer. So I had to put the vice grips on. Now I'm putting the screws back in so the whole motor doesn't fall apart on it. So all these gears in this gearbox will just fall out? They will fall out. Oh, wow. So, so you want to keep it all just want, kind of... As soon as you take undo this, you just back this up a little bit. Yeah. So you can slide that off. Okay. And then we can go ahead and start taking the whole control panel. Interesting. All right, man. Good job. Keep going. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to go get those buttons, Jay, and we'll, we'll get this working here. All right, so I went upstairs, and uh, these are all the buttons and joysticks I removed from the Mortal Kombat's. And we kind of just kept them here, so we have extra parts on hand. You know, I mean, they're used, but they, they really all work. Um, so we're going to swap it out. A red one. Yeah, what I think I'm going to do here, John, is this button is just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Let's just get rid of it. And yeah, I, it I totally like agree. Robot. So I'm just going to take this old button out. Wait, I, I've never seen ones with the... Uh, I always find them in Neo Geos. For some oh, reason. really? Yeah, I don't know why, but... Because usually uh, these are the ones you see. And these ones are really e easy to service and swap out the switches. Yeah. But yeah, these are just a pain in the ass. And then on the, on the micro switches, you know, there's like a normally open and normally closed state. And the, the two tabs you want to use are the two outside ones. So this one, the outside one and the middle one, if you put it on these two, it will not work. Because I think that's the normally uh, closed oh, state. That's right. Do you want me to get in her collar? Yeah. Here, Jay. Thanks, John. I'm going to get a better looking micro switch. This one looks a little dirty. Alright, let's try this one. It's got a nice little snap to it. And then with these, um, and by the way, when I replaced the Mortal Kombat ones the other day, I got really good at this. <laughs> like, how these go on here. So it goes like, now of course I'm going to screw it up. It goes like this. Just like so, right. and then, and then the, the middle one, and then the outside one. There we go. Much better. Yeah. All right, sweet. So now you can see we're easily switching from game to game. Select, select, select. All right, so let's just put it in test and verify all the buttons are working. Okay. Yep. Um, um, so there's a test switch on the inside coin door. Yeah, that doesn't work. It, oh, no, it doesn't? <laughs> you know what? It, it's like frozen. Like, you put the test button, it's like frozen, and I can't push it in. So. Okay, well then how about this? Why don't we try Metal Slug? Yeah, Metal Slug and, uses uh, all the buttons. Okay, so we'll just Oh, no, D is not used. Uh, the only game that uses all the buttons is Last Blade. Is Last Blade. Right, so we'll try that? Yeah, because D is Repel. Okay, so we'll try Last Blade. Let me put some more credits in the other point. Get sockets out here. What's that? Sockets. Yeah, in my toolbox, there's a ratchet set. Okay. It's on the outside right here. All right, thank you. Okay, so let's try Last Blade. All right, so one player and two player. Two player work? I think so, let's see. Boy, this game looks cool. I, I never played this. All right, so let's just check. Okay, so left, right, up, up, down. All right, so all my joysticks work, so now let's just try I guess do we just yeah. Okay, so A button works. All right, so that works. Now we need to try a B, C, and D. Okay. So D is repel. It says I don't know if that's. This game looks cool, Jay. Yeah. All right, so my A works. B works. C works. D. D's not doing anything for me. I think we need to power up or something. To use that. Okay. Something tells me. So it says D is repel. So do you have to fire something at me? I don't know. I don't know if my C is, my C is not working. It's not? No, I'm not kicking. Okay, my A, B, and C all work. All right, C I need to replace. All right, so let's replace C. Yeah, I'm wondering in Puzzle Bobble if all four of these buttons do the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, you want to try that? We could. All right, let's replace C on my side. And uh, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna fix switch. that real quick. So is C? Oh, good. C is easy one to switch. Yeah. All right, I'll get in our micro switch. Okay. Here you go. All right, thanks. I wonder if 
we can short it somehow into test. Eh, whatever. The monitor looks great on this, Jay. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's working. Okay, perfect. And then while we have it open, let's look at D just to okay. make sure it looks right. Well, you know what we can do is actually just test D and do it normally close and see if it does anything. Is it doing anything? Yeah, it does. See, watch. See that? He actually moves. Okay. So let's see now if we actually... Oh, he did like a little... He does like a little block. All right, so is it working? No, so, so D, needs D, to, D needs to be replaced. D on both of them. Yeah. Yeah, oh wait. This one's not doing anything though. He was like twinkling? Oh, because you have it on, you have to put it on the ground here. So you need this. Oh one. yeah, yeah, okay. And time's, time's up, up. Uh, time's yeah. up. All right. Let, let's just change both of those. All right, so I'm getting a couple new switches here. So here's a new one, uh, that looks like I mean, I know all these work. Yeah. I'm just trying to find ones that are, are not too ugly. Slightly used. You know, Jay, we're operators now. This is what you do. This is the operator life. <laughs> <laughs> we recycle and reuse. It's so much fun. <laughs> that one looks good. These are garbage? Yes. Yeah. It was on a one player game. Oh, so look at D, D will start the game. Oh yeah? Yeah. I pressed D and it started okay. it. So on that character select screen, all four buttons work. Uh, all right. So my D totally worked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. D, yeah, D, D works now. All right, cool. All right. C, B, A. All right. I think we're in good shape. We're in great shape. All right, cool. All right so we got to figure out where we're going to put this. So I, I kind of vote for um, Galaxian going to the front. Yeah, and Berserk too. And Berserk. All right. And then we, we put Neo Geo in one of their slots. I agree. All right. So let's get a hand cart and move this out. All right. Guys, this is exciting. We have a Neo Geo on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Oh no, there's ranch dressing everywhere. It's probably on my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a cart. <laughs> All right, so why don't we move with Galaxian and Berserk? Is that what we're doing right now? Yep. All right. We kind of think separating Galaxian, Galaga, and Galaga 3 is a good idea too. They're kind of cannibalizing each other maybe. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, I mean, they're, they're not really the same game, though. They all have their subtle little things about them. I mean, obviously, yeah, Galaga's great. Galaga, Gal Plus and Galaga 3 is, is great, too, though. And Galaxian is a nice, slow, you know? Like, Galaxian requires a little more uh, concentration, I think. Right, so definitely not for you. No. <laughs> Sorry, right, Jay. <laughs> We're operators now. We can do this. Yeah. Alright, so let's get this thing out of here. So I, I'm curious to see like how this thing earns up front now compared to where it was back here. Yeah. I mean we have the data, you know. And, and we're kind of really keeping track of like when we move games, it kind of affects like how they get played. Because like Miss Pac-Man and it used to be up front, and then we put her back here, and she she went up instantly. 
Because we think people like to go down the row. Yeah. All right, come on, the foosball table's here. All right, you're clear. Keep coming. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right. <laughs> See John squirm for a minute. <laughs> all right, you're good. All right. Thank you. There's a lot of people here. Excuse us. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Jay, you're all clear. So let me get this uh, Bud Light sign out of here. So it's only like one o'clock right now and it's a pretty good crowd in here and it's a Tuesday. So this is its new home. What do you think? I, I like it here. You think so? Yeah, I do. I, I like that we split up Galaga and Galaga 3 and Galaxian. All right. Let's see how it does. All right. So now Berserk. All right. All right. We got Berserk over here now. So let's get it in the hole and plug her in. All right, Jay. We got them all here. What do you think? I think it looks good. Yeah. Hey, look, that Berserk is holding high scores. It is holding high scores. Nice job. <laughs> the battery was a success, and also the sound's working now. Nice. It was the, the pot was dirty. Yeah, deoxid to the yeah. rescue again? Yeah, I sprayed some deoxid on the pot, and the sound came right that back. That stuff's like magic. It is like magic. I love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so those four are there. Right. Let's go grab the uh, Neo Geo. Put that in the lineup? Yeah. And then we're going to have to get uh, Junior ready. What do you guys think? You like this? <laughs> Hanging out at the arcade with us today? Excuse us. Thank you. All right, so Neo Geo's ready to rock. Tim, how are we doing? Doing good. So I just wanted to show you, like, if you're on location and you had to swap this out. Yes. What you're going to end up doing is you're going to pull the steering. This, if this is up. Okay. You're pull the steering wheel off. Yep. Steering wheel comes off. Yes. And then what we're going to do is you want to do the four bolts here. Uh huh. When you grab it, we'll pull the whole thing out after we undo the cotter pin here. Yep. There's four screws here. One, two. Those three, giant four, screws. With nuts on the back. Yeah. And then after you undo these two screws, the whole unit comes out. Okay. So that's how you would do it, how they would do it on location. And by the way, my wife just called me. She said Carrie Fisher just died. Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh. So, Carrie Fisher died. Oh, no. She just did, yeah. Kind of, kind of crazy. She actually called me. She was a Star Wars fan. You should know. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's too bad. To the my, Star Wars. Her favorite role for me? Yeah. Blues Brothers. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, all right. Good job, Tim. All right. We'll come back and check in a little bit. Yep, this should be stopped. All right. Are we ready to do this? Well, let's wait for the all right. We're gonna, all right. So, we're going to wait till we have an opening and bring the Neo Geo out. Hang on. Actually, before we bring it out, the one thing we need to do is put coin mechs in. Uh, hey, Tom, look what I got for you. <laughs> because uh, this, is, this is really all we've been doing the last few weeks. <laughs> Uh, it's actually all that John's been doing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's gotten pretty good at Coimex, I'll tell you that. So, um, I need to, let me grab a quarter so we can test these out. All right, so I grabbed a quarter. So, Jay, usually what I do yeah. when I have like a pile of mechs, I, I try to run a quarter through it all like right, now this. What side is the quarter supposed to come through? Straight down. Straight down. This is okay. the reject right here. Okay. If it falls out that, it's being rejected. Okay. So, that's good. All right, great. And I usually just try to run it through and not drop it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I usually, I, my test is 10 times, okay? So it's not rejecting it. Two. So this is totally a good mech. And then also I work the reject function here because a lot of times on some of the mechs, this sticks yeah. and then you're screwed. The whole That's thing's bad. just done, right? So this has to have good springiness and then the quarter needs to go straight through and not be rejected. And if it does reject it, it could be set up for tokens too. Uh, and then this thing right here, yeah. this adjusts it for token and quarter. Okay. So this thing slides Back the opening. Forth. Okay. So if, if the token is smaller, you right. slide this down, and then only the token can pass through. Okay. 
That's good to know. Yeah. But every mech's different how it handles that. Mm. So, all right, let, let's put this, actually, let's hope, let, so that's a good mech. Let's test another one. All right. Good springiness. Good springiness. And then, we still haven't invested in new mechs. We've been actually recycling what we have, and that's we've gotten pretty far with it. Uh -oh. It's kind of funny how many mechs we we own between the two of us. <laughs> Way too many mechs. I know. So this one's good too. I don't know about you. Oh John, no, that one's not good, dude. Yeah, no. This one's a little suspect. Okay, let's let's, let's not use that, that one. Aside. What were you gonna say, Jay? I was gonna say uh, I don't know about you, but like over the years of collecting games, I would just get coin mechs like randomly in the bottom of cabinets that fell out. You know. Right, right. And I would just throw them in a bin. Like I never needed them. Me too. So now I just got all these coin backs, and I was like, all right, well, let's just try these and see if any of them work. And that's what I've been doing, too, because Jay and I have been operating all our games on free play exactly. since day one. Right. And we never even had to think about coin backs until now. This is like a whole other chapter. Right. <laughs> all right, hang on. Oh, that one rejected it. See that? That's no good. All right. So here, try that again. Oh, look at... Oh, did I do that? But, all right, we got we to gotta clean that slot. The oxygen to the rescue? Yeah. So this one is flat out rejecting it. Oh, not, that time it didn't. Ready? Is that a reject? No. This one seems okay. Is that just a fluke? Yeah. And by the way, the one thing I noticed too is that the angle of the coin mech Makes actually matters. Yeah. On the pinball machine, yeah. when you open, because the pinball is at an angle. It's at a six and a half degree angle, That's true. right? And when you open the coin door and try to test the mech, it behaves completely differently than when the coin door is shut. Right, right. Because it, the angle so how do you changes. you test it when you're operating on a pinball machine? What do you, you do? With the coin door shut. Oh. If you test okay. it with it open, like watch what happens here. If I go like at an angle, if it rejected it. Oh. It flat out rejected the coin. I see. So, so I guess that Stern, I read this, because I was Googling this about pinball machines. Because yeah. the, the Ghostbusters, that coin mech yeah. that was in there. We thought it was bad from the beginning, right? But it was the angle, because it worked fine in another Wait, game, but not in the Ghostbusters. Okay. So the coin mech was good. It's so, just the angle was too extreme. So with pinball, always test your coin mechs while the door's closed. You have to. Okay. Otherwise, it, re it flat out rejects it. You saw it, it rejected it because yeah. it was at an angle. It's a good process. So, all right, so we could put these both in uh, here. Um, so where's the other one? Okay. All right, John. Show well, us how it's done. <laughs> well, I also learned that all of these are different how they work. But the thing is, the reject side right here yeah. needs to go under this, okay? Okay. So when you re push this, this thing goes down okay. and it hits this. I see. That's the reject so mechanism. this reject side always needs to be towards this and underneath it. Good to know. And okay, so this here but all these are different how they function too. Okay, so this has these little nubs, Tabs, yeah. right? So we got to get the nubs in here. Into that, okay. So we either does this whole thing come off though? I think it does. I know that's so what I'm wondering. I think if you just maybe give this. A there you go. Okay. You can put that in there. So sometimes you have to unscrew these yeah. and then screw them through uh, here. Ah, okay. But this this one you don't have to do that. So basically we need to make sure the reject is underneath the reject. And actually, look right here. Ah, uh, so what does that mean? That means we have to remove. That tab has to come off. Yeah. Okay. Boy, this one's a bear. So, so those two tabs come off and then just sits in there, and then do they go back in? Yeah, they're they're gonna have to. But there's also longer ones uh, that I have in my bag, like this right here. So yeah. you, you see this right here? We might have to use these style. Got it. To go through that hole. So okay. where's the other mech that I was gonna use? All right. Well, it's in right. We just gotta get this. All the holes lined up. Yeah. What a nightmare. Come on. So this one does not want to line up at all. Like I'm wondering if we need to take that off. That's that one off. You guys can see what's happening here. So we're just trying to line everything up and it doesn't want to. And I'm sure someone right now is screaming at their television. John! Because there's there's probably some obvious thing that we're overlooking. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen this design though. It's just that little hole. 
It doesn't want to go through it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> we can, we can, um... You want to take that bottom one off? We can unscrew it. But I don't... But look it, Jay. So does this... Ah, there it is. Okay. All right, that's the snap that we're looking for. All right. So let's try it again. It's going the right way? It is the right way. And is it pushed forward? It... Like the bottom. Uh... Yes. Okay. There. Alright. There. Uh, we almost got it. It's just like this bottom... It barely wants to go. It's like it's just off That's by a half a million millimeter. Come on. Ugh. Boy, it doesn't want to fit. I wonder if we should just take that bottom one off and then try to screw it from okay. after we close it. Let's do that. So we're going to remove the little nipple here. So let me grab a screwdriver. All right, so I'm just gonna, I just broke it with my screwdriver. We'll take the bottom one off, and then we'll see if we can put it in from the outside. Got it. And like I said, there's two different sizes for these little nipple things. See, that? this totally fits now. Nice. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't want to lock. And actually, if you look in the coin bucket, it's got these. Ah. Uh. See, I think you're supposed to put these in there afterwards. Right? Okay. I've got a bunch of those in my bag. You think that top one should come off too? Yeah, I think okay. we'll take both of them off and then we'll put the longer ones through. From the back. Boy, this is annoying, Jake. There. Okay, so now we gotta try to put those tabs back in. And it looks like, well, we'll take this one here. And I don't know if the thread's the same. All right, well, it's in. We could test it if you want. Okay. You have a quarter? I don't know how this looks on video here. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right, so that, uh... Yeah, it's taking credits. It's going up. I watched it. Oh, oh. Oh, because I was looking here. Oh, you're on the left. No? Maybe not. Yeah, it's turning in there. It's on the right, I'm sorry. It's weird. It puts the right credit on this side over there. Isn't that strange? It is strange. But it's coming up here. Oh, it is. Yeah, whenever you do it here. Well, why does it say, say 31? I don't know. Why does it say it on the left on the game, but on the right it's... Uh... But watch, when you put a credit in, watch. Watch here. 32. But it's showing up here. Okay. Well, this is probably right. This is probably yeah. just the game. Yeah, I'm guessing the game. They probably, when they did the game, they didn't think about this, maybe? Maybe, yeah. And you're supposed to look here for player one? Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know. Why? Because you're putting it in the right coin. Package, I am, yeah. So it's going on the right side. Yes. But for whatever reason, the game is showing it on the opposite side. That's strange. That All right, right, so that's working. We can see if we could find another uh, screw thing to put right here. Okay. And then let's put another mech over here. Let's do the bottom first. Yeah, push that out. <clears throat> oh my god. It's like rusted. <laughs> Give it a shot. I'm gonna look for one of those screws. Okay. All right, we're gonna mess around with this and get the other coin mech on, but we're basically rinsing and repeating here. <sighs> All right, Jay. All right, uh, coin mechs are fixed. That was about a half hour, by the way. Off camera, you guys missed it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really miss much. <laughs> it was just a lot of fiddling nonstop, but we got it. They're both working. I tested them, each one 10 times, quarter, no problem. And then I, I saw you just brought Donkey Kong Jr. out. It's in the hole. We put it in the lineup right so next to Donkey Kong 3. We did not test those Coimex, though. Whoops. <laughs> We're going to have to do that. So, all right, let, let's bring Neo Geo out, Jay. Right. You got it? Uh, probably not. I might need a Hang on. Bit. I'll give you an oomph. Go. Ready? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Are you all right? Yep. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm coming. All right. 
All right, let's I got go. It. No, just guide me in the front. Okay. Make sure I don't kill anybody. All right. All right, Jay, come on. Looks good. Jay, you look good pushing this thing. No. <laughs> All right, you're clear. Keep coming. All right, come towards me. Okay. Oh, you, you're right. Okay, so let me uh, move the foosball table, maybe, huh? All right, you okay? Yeah. Let's get on the other side. All right. All right, come on. So we're gonna lose a table. It's all right. This team molding is popping out. And then Junior's right here, already getting some play. I guess the coin max work on Junior. Someone's playing. We're here to get this. The card out? Yeah. Here, get it out. All right. Excuse me. All right. Coming. Ready? Straight back. So I think just put it in the middle. The table's not coming back. No. So just. Why don't we get it closer to pack? Just because the side art on Galga looks better. Okay. Do you think we're putting the table back there or no? The table's not coming back. Okay. Do you agree? Is there enough space? I would say just no. Just even it out center. Well, maybe there is enough space. You think? Well, there's one way to find out. Well, we can if we put... So guys, uh, these tables here were all cut in half, and we've been putting them in between the games. Does it fit? It will fit. If we I move down pack. No, no, it'll fit. I think what we should do, though, because you already have the table on the side of Galvin. Oh, 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 okay. Maybe put it on that side. All right. And then tighten Pac-Man up. Yep. All right. Now it should just go straight back. Ready? Let's go. Okay. And then let's tighten pack. Here, take this. Yep. I think this will fit, bro. Really. Yeah, no, it's Oh, yeah. Good. It's, it's on the bottom. It's narrower. Right. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Look at that. All right. That looks great. Yo, Joe's in the lineup. Sweet. <sighs> that was a lot of work. <laughs> let's test the uh, Coimax on Junior real quick. Okay. Someone was just someone was just playing it, so obviously it's working to some really? degree. Just yeah, someone was just playing it. You got that quarter still? Uh, it's in my pocket. All right, it's in the hole here. So let's let's check out the uh, DK Junior, make sure it's kosher. All right, so both mechs are present. <laughs> All right, let's try that quarter. All right, I couldn't find the quarter I had, but there should be one in here. There is. So, this mech's bad. Okay. They're both bad. How did that kid play? <laughs> How did this quarter get in there? <laughs> you think it's the old, uh, try doing this. Try that. How did this quarter get in there? All right, we gotta take these apart, so. What's the trick with these, John? Well, oh, these are totally different than the other ones. I don't know, I think we should clean this stuff yeah, off. Yeah, they look a little oxidized. All right, let's go through them. All right, maybe we get some sandpaper and clean that up. These are totally different than the other ones we had. Hmm. Hey, how about that? All right, hang on, let's try it again. No, it's not even going through. That there. Alright. 
Maybe we just need to clean them a little bit. I think we do. I think right. it's just dirty. Let's just clean them up. All right, we're gonna take them apart and, uh, oh God, you guys didn't even see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna just take the pieces off and clean them up. Let me show you guys what we're doing. We, we took some deoxit, okay? And uh, this stuff's also kind of like a mild lubricant and we're basically getting oxidation off of these parts here. And these are the parts that seem to cause all the trouble with these Nintendo mechs. But these are a totally different design than the other ones we have. Mm. They're the same as sh Shashi or... They're the same brand, the Asahi uh, Seiko. Seiko, yeah. yeah. All right, let's check in with Tim here. Tim, how's it going, man? Hey guys, so we're just about uh, <laughs> I like your there. headlight, but my, my wife got me this for Christmas, by the way, and he's wearing it. it. <laughs> uh, this is a great headlight, by the way. Um, so we've taken some parts off the original yep. control panel. We okay. took off the retainer for the bumper yep. because it was missing, so we put that on over ah, here. Okay. And we're also, we took off the potentiometer gear yep. and the, the pot, and we're putting it on the new one. And this pot right here is for steering? This is the one for steering, and the way that works is, you leave these two screws loose. Yep. We try to leave the bottom one uh, mm -hmm. tight because it's a pain in the neck to get to and it strips easily. These screws are soft. Yeah. So you can adjust this side to side and then you just turn the gear in here when it's not engaged. Okay. And you center it and there's a setting in the test menu for dead center. I see. And once it's in dead center, then you, you then you engage it. Slide it, it in and engage, ah. tighten it up and just make sure you don't want it too tight so it doesn't bind. Right. Because otherwise if you don't do that, you might be favoring left more than right. right. If you get a car that steers left or right, you can always just back this out a little, the screw out. Yeah, and, and then just adjust the screw. Gotcha. You're good to go. Great work, man. Keep it up. We're almost done. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Yeah, no problem. A big job. This <laughs> is a huge job. <laughs> All right, I just want to share with you guys. Um, we totally fixed the mechs on Donkey Kong Jr. just by spraying deoxit on all the parts individually. That stuff's magic, John. It is. It actually works great because it was just kind of gummed up with corrosion. Look at that. Every time now. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, like butter. Totally awesome. So, um, we do have to get these credits yeah, off. Yeah, I'll go around the back. <laughs> Take those out. So, so anyway, yeah, we just, like I said, just sprayed the oxygen on all the parts. Like, because this top piece comes off right here. You just slide this barrel down, and then this piece comes off right here. So we just sprayed this down, wiped off paper towel, and then sprayed all of this, and then wiped it down, got all the corrosion off. And again, it's just like a mild lubricant. Ah, I see it got hung up there. So this right here, I think, just let it dry. This deoxid though has become like the number one uh, tool here. This is a little sticky right here. This little shoot. Yeah. All right, it, it seems totally fine now. Okay. All right, so that's good to go. All right, I'm gonna reset it. All right, you do that. And this. Don't forget the right plug. Ready? Yep. Yeah, that's it. So we're getting all the credits off. And then the other thing we did earlier today was um, we replaced the control panel on Donkey Kong because it had the wrong joystick on it, and we can't have that. <laughs> so, so we have a new control panel here with the proper Nintendo uh, joystick and buttons. These are the original OG. Jay, I'm really happy we have the original uh, blue and orange uh, buttons. Nintendo buttons. Oh, yeah. Not repro. I wonder if we should turn Neo G Geo down just a little bit. Okay. That Wilhelm scream on Metal Slug. You know what I'm talking about? That. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna turn this down and then we'll check in with Tim. And so, what else we have to do? We have to do the. Did you bring the Pac Man control panel? I did. All right, because right now this is the only game with the wrong joystick, and we're gonna fix that right now. Everything else has all the right controls and the buttons and everything. It's all original. So we're just trying to fix everything here, little by little. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, Jay. It's been a long day, man. Hey guys, we're still at the hangar. <laughs> we have done so much today, and Tim is still going at this. We're almost done. I can clean everything up and get my hands in here. We've been here for, what, six or seven hours? Oh, at least. And, uh... So we fixed some coin jams. Yeah. Before you got here, NBA Fast Break had an error. Oh, no shit. This, the right slingshot leaf switch was bad. Oh. And it was basically making permanent contact. Mm. 
and so I just had to spread them apart, and that that fixed that. You just got hit too hard or something. I, I have no idea. Like like the switch got bent or something. Yeah. So that was fixed, and then um, what else? Well, we fixed uh, the coin back on Frogger with Deoxit. Yep. Which that stuff is turning out to be it's the magic. miracle drug. It is. We got turtles in, all working 100. percent Yep. We got Donkey Kong Jr. in, working 100. percent Well, turtles, we fixed the marquee light. And oh yeah. The dip switch settings. Uh, everything. And, yeah, we went through. The Joysticks whole thing. are all working now. Yeah. Neo Geo, we fixed the coin max, the cart, the, the we, we slot, the the puzzle puzzle bobble <laughs> slot. We cleaned that with Deoxit. With, with Deoxit. Deoxit right? is the all star here, by I the way. Go home, take a bath in Deoxit. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are full of it, by the way. Uh, so Neo Geo is in its hole. It looks great. Um, we moved Berserk and Galaxian. Yep. And now if we can get OutRun going... That's it. Just get my hand in it. Call it we, a day. We, this has been a really productive day. Tim, you are you are the, the star of this video, by the way. all the LED lights John has in his arsenal. <laughs> He's got the one on Tim's head. head. Right. He's got this one here and this one here. Yeah, and I got another one in my bag. Oh, by the way, check out my, my new bag. You guys like this? My wife got me this for Christmas. And uh, isn't this great? Look at this thing. And it kind of closes up like that. Jay, you, you're going to get one of these? Uh, well, now that we're operators, John, I feel like we need one of these bags. Maybe we do. Even, maybe even a little van. We like should, yeah, John we, and Jay's arcade. We should embroider our logo on here. Yeah, that'd be cool idea. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. You need some stickers for the road. Yeah. Like all the arcades. And then and I got shit. this light, too, my wife got me. So there's wow. no shortage of, of, of LED lights. Yeah, tell me about it. Because, uh, honestly, that's the first thing I noticed when we started working in here. Plus, it's dark in this place. I know. It's always dark. And the thing is, when we went to Logan Arcade, my wife and I, she saw that the guys that were working on the games had this a toolbox like this yeah. and the head LEDs. Oh, really? So my wife got me that for Christmas. Pretty wow. thoughtful, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tim, do you like the headlight? I do. This has actually been huge because it's dark <laughs> back here. It's like, it's like the coal miner look. It's, it's in right now. It is. So anyway, we're gonna keep uh, looking at Tim work on this, and then uh, <laughs> we're about done. We did have to give up on the swapping out the Pac-Man joystick, right? Because it turns out that that someone changed the connector on it on the harness. On the harness. Yeah. So it's a bigger job than we're ready for today. So we're gonna address it later. So if you guys come here and the joystick's wrong, we apologize. It's, pro it's probably the same joystick that's in the reunion cabs, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Micro switch. Yeah. Well, we did fix the Donkey Kong Junior. I mean, the Donkey Kong joystick. Yeah, right? we that's, did. That's, that's legit now. So, yeah. So the only thing wrong in this whole place right now is the Pac-Man Pac joystick, joystic. which honestly I don't think anyone will know. No. Because it feels right. It feels fine. Yeah, it feels great. Yeah. But it's micro switch. Okay. So, all right, we're going to just kind of keep supervising Tim here, <laughs> and then we'll be back. <laughs> Hopefully with a working out run. All right, Tim, you're done? I think so. Everything's back together. <laughs> now, how confident are you that it's going to work first try? Uh, I would say 99%. 99? <laughs> oh, really? 99%? It will work. We have to adjust the centering. Okay. So as long as that works, and, uh, well, the then we should be good to go. Untested, so. All right, well, are hey, we... guys, I got some deoxid I just want to spray <laughs> in here. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm, the red control panel, I'm starting to warm, warm up like to this. Now? Yeah, it doesn't bother me as much. When I first saw it today, I was a little sensitive to it. No, it blends right in. It looks fantastic. Oh, the marquee light, by the way. Is oh, I, I have a whole fixture in my car. Oh, look so at that. Go, All right, so the, the, the board works. That's good. So do you think the, the light, uh, J, is a bulb and starter, or we need a whole fixture? I think the fixture. You know what it is, John? One of the plastic tabs on the left. Okay. Uh, I, I brought an entire right. fixture. So I'm going to drop this down because the pot is not centered. Okay. So this okay. is what it'll do if the pot's not centered. So it's not centered, so it's just going like right. Right. So you're trying to get the arrow... F to stop. Because it's not centered, so it thinks the steering wheel is... Well, to the right. right. There. And right now, he's adjusting the pot manually by hand down here, if you guys can see that. That's like center. Is it going slower at least? I don't... I don't it looks like it's just going. Is this pot good? I don't know, Tim? <laughs> it should stop. Try now. A little deoxid maybe on yeah, it? Yeah, put some deoxid on it. Spray some deoxid in there. <laughs> well, the pot... Should stop. It's not. We're just spinning. Hmm. 
see if we can get it to the input test. I think if you hit the button. Start button? Yeah, when it's on input. All right, I can see it. Oh, we gotta wait for it to come back around. It's like the price is right, but we don't know yeah. it spins around, you know. No, you gotta hit the test button on the left, inside. Oh, all right. Inside the coin door, all the way to the left. All right. Hit, you have to hit the test button when it's on input. Yes, ready? Now, go. okay. All right, so let's see. So move the pod to see if... Uh... So moving the pod. Well, low and high work, so... Okay. Except low and high are switched. That's easy. All right. Low and high are switched. The pod is not... Registering. Then why is the steering... Is the steering in a different one? Gas pedal's registering, brakes registering. All right. Let's go back. Uh... Imp uh... Not motor. if, it was an input. Well, let's check the motor. This thing was shaking the motor. Now... So you're trying to do the motor test? Yeah. No, just skip right out of it. Select by steering, push test. Okay. Well, that gear's not engaged, so... Um, output. Okay. Start lamp. That, well, that should light. That yeah, should, light. should light. That's not lighting. Are you sure everything's hooked up back there? Do we do well, I didn't unhook those, so okay. let's see. The harness is all plugged in. Do you want to get a, should we put a meter on this to see yeah. if it's changing values? Yeah, maybe. That's a good idea. All right, let's get a multimeter and just see if the uh, potentiometer is actually changing resistance values. All right, Jay. All right. <clears throat> so I don't know which two to grab. Uh, middle one, right? Middle one yeah. That's four ohm, four K ohms. Move your hand, I, I can look now. I don't know if it changed anything. No, it's not. I can. Well, yeah, you can spin the wheel, right? Yeah, you got it slightly engaged. So, hang on. You un I don't know which tabs to grab. Do you? Uh, it should be a middle and yeah, yeah. middle and outside. And an outside. I just don't remember which outside it is. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So I'll spin this. Okay. Yeah, it's changing. So we want, so it goes, it's a 5K pot. Yeah. So let me know when it, it goes to 5K. It. It's so let me know when it gets it to two and a half. Almost, keep going. 2.7, 2.6, There. 2 right there. Yeah, right there is good. Okay. So that's the middle. That's the middle, so let's put it in test mode. Still, Still doing it. Do it. Maybe it's the oh you know what maybe it's the connection to the game board maybe it's not being maybe it's not fully maybe. seated or something oh maybe it's just floating it's not plugged in yeah all right we're gonna check the connection with the board at zero zero H that's because it was all the way to the side and that's what registers if it, the potentiometer is not registering yeah so we reset the edge connector and it fixed F is the other side now okay it did it again. No, don't screw it in. Don't screw it in. Okay. It's gone. We lost it. All right. So yeah. It, it's back there. Should we clean it? <laughs> Actually, you know what I think it is? I huh. think it might be the saw. I think it might have to reflow the headers on the, um, on the game board itself. Uh, reflow the header? On the back of the... Uh, yeah, I'll show you the connection it is so you know. Okay. Right up top here. Yeah. This, this whole part. Oh, I see on the back. There's a clip that's, yeah. So there's a clip that's actually broken on the top. See, there's these two clips. Yeah. And then what happens is, you can see there's one on the bottom that locks in. Yep. The top one is busted on this game board. So it's not seating all the way. Well, it's just not locking in, so I can do this. See how I did that? Yeah, yeah. But what if we got like a zip tie or something? Yeah, we can do that. But what I'm concerned is, it might actually be this whole connection assembly. Because what happens when this door swings open, uh, it wants it pulls to on it on this. But, but Tim, right now, is it doing it? No. It's not right? No, it's not doing anything. How about uh, now? Nowadays. Okay. Yeah. It's cold. I, I think you might have to refill the header on. Alright, I'll get the soldering iron. Okay. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, we're gonna yank the board. I went and got the soldering iron, so we're gonna refill the headers on that connector there. Alright, Jay, so we got the soldering iron set up here. And uh, so it's this header right here and really tiny little traces. Yeah. It's hard to say. But when I pulled that, it, it totally made connection. Okay. All right, so we're just reflowing the headers here. Tiny, tiny headers. 
big big soldering iron tip yeah huge <laughs> That's like for like wood burning crafts. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, well we're gonna try. Yeah. So we're gonna go through and just reflow every one of these headers and we'll come back. It's, this is gonna take about 10 minutes. Alright, the board's back in and it appears to be working. Uh, Tim is centering it right now. So 80H is the value that is the center of the pot, right? It's uh, 80 hex. 80 hex, right. So it's technically two and a half ohms, right? Yeah, right about there. Yeah. So then once you get it centered... This, and then you just tighten it down. Yeah, and you don't want to make sure it's too tight, otherwise the gears will bind. Right. Um, and you know, you have a little bit of gap in between when the teeth interlock. Right. So not like this, but like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we'll just tighten it in, tighten it, and it should... It might move a little bit, there should be a little bit of a free play there. So you're going to make sure the steering wheel is actually centered, too. All right, and we're maintaining the 80H center value. Uh -oh. That's okay, it's gonna move a little bit, so, because even a two, we change it. So 79 is close. Now there's a value that it should be with, with between, so. And you only have to tighten down that one, right? Yeah, I have the other one relatively tight, and that's the one that tends to... And that one kind of swings. These screws are the softest screws in the back. Okay. So let, let's see. Good. All right. <clears throat> let's put a screw in and uh, test it out. So we're gonna have to get the uh, the center cap. Who's making the repros on that now? I've seen them on eBay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Slick Rick is, right there. Rich? No, Rick? Who's Slick Rick? Slick Rick. Slick Nick. Oh, Slick Nick. Yeah, 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 yeah. guy in uh, California. Yeah. I met him at Green Gears, nice guy. But he's making them, and I think Rich was originally, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's get one. Yeah, we need one. Okay. So now it doesn't move. Yep. Now it doesn't move. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's try the game. All right, let's, let's point let's it up out of here. Give us a credit, Timmy. Still not blinking. That's okay. Yeah, the bowl might be dead. <laughs> uh, is this still backwards? It might be. Try low. Yeah. All right, it's working. Fresh. Set the shake. Yeah, the motor doesn't really work. That could be a fuse, though, right? Could be. We got another shaker. I think low and high got to swap. Yeah. I think it's that normally open, normally close yeah, scenario, right? Yeah. All right, we'll fix that. All right, we can fix that. All right, we're going to swap the wires on the micro switch on the uh, shifter, and then maybe look at the bulb for this in here. Let's open this up again and take a peek. So this bulb, wow. How do you, is, is that, oh, that's like a cone light, isn't it? Is it like all in one? It is. We're not changing that. You got that. one. <laughs> See, I gave you one a little while ago. All right, so we're not changing that light very easily. All right, so that, that, that should be it. Make sure all wires are good. Am I in? Yeah, that's right, right? Can I put it in low now? Yeah, it goes down. That's right. That's right. Okay, the shifter's right. We just had the wires backwards. And then the shaker motor, we should take a look at the fuses, you think? Yeah, yeah. we've got another shaker motor if we need to swap it out. All right. All right, the shaker motor fuse is dead, and uh, we don't have any fuses with us. We're not sure. We're going to look. What's the value on it? Four? Four amp? I don't know. Let's see. You take a look at Let's it. Let's see. Looks beefy. Whatever it is. Oh, look. There's the other manual right there. 
Well, we can fix the shaker motor later if we have to. Yeah. I can't read that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look at the It says 32 volt. They had the manuals in there. Nothing, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to double check the fuse. All right, we're back. Uh, so we just adjusted the monitor. The shifter's all working. Everything's playable. Uh, the motor is not working. We're missing the fuse, and we don't have any fuses here for it. And the light. And the lights. So we're gonna have to come back and fix that later. I think right now, though, maybe we should get the marquee light. At least look at it. Yeah. I got a spare, brand new one. We could maybe throw in. High school kid. No high school kid. That looks way better now. The motor is adjusted. Yeah, it does. So let's see if we can pop this off and see what's going on up here. To adjust the monitor, it was kind of a bear. We had to remove the top piece of wood to get to the neck board. This cabinet's kind of a dumb design. All right, let's see what's happening up here. All right, Jay, so check it out. So here's what I think the problem is, John. Right here. Yeah, exactly. It's broken off. That plastic clip is broken. So. so, here's what I brought. So, at Walmart, they have these guys, and uh, they're like $8, $10. Yeah. Should we just swap the whole thing out? It's just two wires. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's turn it off. Um, here's some wire nuts. We could just wire nut it in there. Unplugged? Unplugged. All right, so let's... Uh, so here's our power in. No, but the no, problem is this. Uh, you know, it might it might actually hold on here though. I tried it yesterday. Oh, you did? Yeah. All right, let's just pull it out. And we were just asking. It's just two that. wires. Yeah. I gotta swap out in a second. Swap it out. All right, so how to make a couple of Tim, are you leaving? Uh, I'm gonna come back in. Okay. But I just Guys, uh, thank Tim. Go watch his YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna just cut this right. So the power of these two wires right here, the blue and the white, All right, so you guys can see that Jay right here, that the, the power coming in is, are these two wires up here. So, it's the hot and the neutral. So before we do that, let's take a look at the new light and just kind of come up with a game plan here. All right, so here's our new fixture. So I think we wanna get rid of this. And then the mounting holes, I believe are inside here. I haven't done one of these in a while. And this one doesn't re require a starter, these new ones. So the mounting holes are actually right here and here. So what we're gonna do is let's remove the bulb. And then I'll just break these off and we'll screw right through here. All right, so I'm gonna cut this off. So we can throw screws right through there. Okay. And then we're gonna have to cut this and attempt to figure out what hot and neutral is. And we could probably do that by this. All right, so we got it all ready here and I went online to double check this. So the smaller prong, okay, is hot. Hot. And the larger prong is neutral. Neutral. Okay, so that we have to kind of keep track of this here. We're it. gonna splice it into this 
And uh, I don't know how, maybe we can get a marker. Actually, there's writing on this. Correct. So the one with the writing is hot. Is hot. Yep, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. And then up here, by the way, we have a white and a blue wire. And uh, so the white is neutral. The blue here goes to this black, which is hot. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, so let's, let's cut this plug off. And so the one with the writing is hot. All right, so that's all ready to be spliced in. And we'll come up here. And then I'm gonna cut the blue and the white. Now let's get this out of here. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and strip these. Yeah, we got everything else stripped. I got these wire nuts. Okay. So let's uh, figure out how we want this to go in here, by the way. We, uh, is there a screw we mounted through? Or well, right here. I'm going to go right through here. Okay, perfect. So I ripped the little tabs off. All right. So it used to be, we're going to have to make new holes. Yeah, no There's just problem. no way around it. But maybe we should make this connection first. Yes. So the one with the writing was our hot. <laughs> Tim, what are you this doing? Is what it looks like behind. Us. <laughs> I think this is the first time John's getting filmed while he's filming. This is a. Uh, it's actually not. I don't think. No. <laughs> but, but here you go. This is the behind-the-scenes footage. Of what it looks like when we're actually. Is this going to be on the extras DVD? This is on the extras footage of the. Well, it's, it's on the special. special show. The paint is brown. <laughs> but here we go. We've got a bunch of people playing games. On the top. All right. So let's screw it in. Are you excited, Jay? Riveting footage. It is. I think you're taking a light to my drill. Do, can you do me a favor and just hold it in place, yeah. please? Absolutely. Like center it. Like there? Yeah, Second. sure. Okay. Can we get the bulb yeah. back in? I do like your drill. I can tell. Mine, mine is not very good. It's a little weak. It's totally weak. All right, I just cracked it. Maybe I didn't, it's fine. All right, let's get the bulb in. We were talking earlier, these things are gonna be obsolete, these fixtures. I think, yeah, I think so. And yeah, this, this, is, this is made in the USA for like eight bucks at Walmart. How yeah. is that even possible? Is it really made in the USA? Yeah, it is. All right, so did you turn it off? Uh, I, I hit the power strip. Oh, the power strip? Yes. All right. Okay. All right, John, hit the switch. All right, Let's here we go. <laughs> Maybe it was the fuse. Oh! Maybe that fuse was for the fluorescent light. Oh, my God. So maybe the ballast was blowing the fuse. Oh, good yeah, point. If the ballast shorts out, it'll blow the fuse. That's, pro that's what it is. I think so. Well, let me just double check. Yeah, make sure that's in there all the way. We don't even know if it's on or off. It's made in the USA, though. It is made in the USA. <laughs> Lights of America, it's called. It's in. Sure. No. Now it is. All right, that's good. Right there. Nothing. Nothing. I'm going to put a fuse in there for you. You got a forum fuse? Yeah. All right. We're going to swap the fuse and see if we fix stuff. All right, we just swapped the fuse. We could try the shaker motor now. No, it does work now. The fan. The oh, fan. Is the working. fan's working the now. The fan's working as well. <laughs> there you go. Terrific. Two for one special. Well, you think the shaker motor works? Maybe we can try it. I don't know. So many lights. I know. Jay, this has been a long day. It's been a, a long day. <laughs> Crash. No. No shaker motor. Huh. Sorry to say. So the, the, the shaker motor is not a fuse issue. No. It's not. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to have to debug that a little bit more. 
think the motor can be bad? Well, we'll you know, let's worry about that another day. We did a lot today. <laughs> I think we're all just like done. We're exhausted. <laughs> so. All right, guys, we're gonna button this up, put it on the floor. So let's kind of just walk around and see what we did. So Outrun is in its hole. We just kind of buttoned it up really quick. But I, I, I kind of like Outrun right here. We kind of spaced it out so that turtles had breathing room. Because, you know, the, the side players, you know, they're kind of over here, you know? Right. And so Outrun, you know, we're gonna come back, we're gonna fix the shaker motor and uh, probably replace the whole gas pedal assembly. And also the uh, center decal. We know it's wrong, and and the button. So, <laughs> little by little, it's it, you know it's. First of all, we have to thank Tim. Yes. I mean Tim. Tim kicked butt rebuilding that control yeah, panel. Yeah. That was not an easy task. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So it's working. It's playable. Yeah. And Mortal Kombat 2 is right here. And then we come over here. You know, Burger Time is Pac Man Frogger. Donkey Kong's got a new joystick today. Yeah. Neo Geo is now in its slot right there. Um. I, I like the Neo Geo there. It looks good there. I like it. I like that it's in the row. Yeah, it's think part of it. It yeah. breaks it up, you know? It totally does. Yeah. And good titles there too. I think we have great games in there. We saw someone playing baseball stars earlier. Yeah, already. Yeah. It's a sports bar. You got to have the sports games. I agree. <laughs> and then Galaga, Galaga 3, you know. Donkey Kong 3, we got Junior here. The coin mechs are working again. Uh, little Deoxit saves the day. Little Deoxit, and, and we fixed the Frogger one the same way. Double Dragon is Double Dragon, Centipede, Marble Madness. By the way, Marble Madness went down this week for yeah, some reason. Sure why. Like, all of the games kind of went up, but that one... Went down. Yeah, it was weird. Asteroids is Asteroids. Pole Position 2, killing it. Dig Dug, Star Wars, killing it. Street Fighter 2. It's interesting that this seems to be the fighting game that's that's getting the most love, but Mortal Kombat's right behind it. Yeah, I wonder if we swap Mortal Kombat 2 or where Mortal Kombat 3 is. Yeah. More love. I feel like Mortal Kombat 2 is, you know, more played than... Right. And then Ghostbusters and Fast Break, and then over here... Kind of rounds it out, you know? It does. Kind of makes a statement when you walk in. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is a, you know, this is an arcade. Bro. I don't know about the, the food up here. <laughs> There's like a whole thing of chicken wings up there. <laughs> hey guys, good morning. So, <laughs> now what everybody's saying. Yeah, so, anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Jay and I want to go home. Jay, I'm going back to the basement. Where are you going? Well, I got a two hour drive back to Rhode Island. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's it. Let's let's go back to the basement. Jay, that was a fun day. Thanks, John. This was our first, like, real, like, day. serious working day here. Yeah, it was a whole day here. It day. really was. So, But we got four new games in. So. Yeah, so we got 30 games now. 30 games total, yeah. And it's a good lineup. Yeah, it is. So it, come on down to the hangar. It's the a well-rounded... And by the way, like us and stuff on Facebook. Facebook.com slash John and Jay's Arcade. So, all right, guys, that's it. Let's go back to the basement. All right, guys, there you have it. What'd you think, huh? <laughs> that was a long day, guys. We did a ton of stuff. I am not kidding. We did a lot. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. By the way, I apologize about the, the br bruised audio sound at the end there. I don't know what's causing that. I, I really don't. I thought my battery was dying, and it was. But after I replaced the battery, it was still doing that. And actually... I, I replaced my microphone not that long ago because the one I had before that was bruising, the, the, the cable broke and then I, then I replaced the cable and then I broke it like for real in Chicago. So I ordered another microphone, not the whole wireless setup, but just the microphone itself. And I, I thought that stuff was behind me. So anyway, I, I apologize. But anyway, do you guys like that? <laughs> that was pretty fun, right? First of all, I, we, Jay and I both have to really thank our friend Tim for coming out because that guy worked all day on that outrun and thank God he did that because then Jay and I were able to go around and take care of all the other stuff and anyway, end of the day, we got it all fixed. Everything's on the floor working so far. Um, we're going to have to go back in a couple days and, and fix the outrun. I, I like to get the shaker motor working and also maybe put a, a new and better gas pedal on the bottom. So I think Tim and I might go down there in a couple days. We'll, we'll see. So anyway, that's it. I hope you liked it. Be sure to uh, go to Tim's YouTube channel. If you just go to like YouTube and search for That Tim Guy Arcade, it, it should come right up. That 
Tim Guy Arcade. And then also be sure to check out uh, uh, Jay and I's uh, Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash John and Jay's Arcade, which is what we're calling our little company that's kind of inside the hangar. So it's John and Jay's Arcade, facebook.com slash John and Jay's Arcade. And we've been posting photos and videos and stuff on that page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook. Um, anyway, all right, let, let's do some viewer mail. Um, it really has been a long day. <laughs> I got to the hangar, uh, oh boy, I don't know, about 9, 9.30 this morning, and I got, I, I guess it was only there for like eight hours or, but still, <laughs> that's a working man's job right there. <laughs> eight hours of arcade, and we took like a 15 minute lunch break, <laughs> so, anyway. I'm not complaining though. I, I really am enjoying this, guys. It's it's a new chapter. It's a new challenge. I love it. I, I love it a lot. Uh, anyway, uh, let's do some viewer mail. And, and by the way, if you guys want to participate in the viewer mail, you need to email them to me at john at johnsarcade.com. That's john at johnsarcade.com. Okay? Uh, subject line doesn't matter. It, it can be a question, a comment, whatever. John at johnsarcade.com. J O H N at johnsarcade.com. Send your viewer mail. All right, your first one here is from uh, BT. Uh, John, first off, I've attached a picture of the badass John's Arcade shirt I got in the mail today. <laughs> My wife is so jealous. And, and by the way, I want to thank you guys because I've been getting a lot of these photos. and I'll try to play them in, in, in the videos as, as we go along. But a lot of guys got the t-shirts and the mugs and women too uh, and, and all that stuff. And you guys have been sending me the photos, so thanks a lot. Actually, let, let's show uh, uh, BT's uh, in his shirt right here. Yeah, dude, that shirt looks great on you. I, I, I like the X-Men, too, dude. That's a nice four-player X-Men. Um, so anyway, I want to thank you guys, all of you, for buying the shirts and the mugs and the sweatshirts. You guys all rule. I mean, we sold like 255 shirts and stuff, so thank you guys very much. And also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway real soon. I got a bunch of stuff I want to give away, uh, including uh, maybe this little Famicom LCD screen and some T-shirts and whatever. We're going to be talking about that later, but I'm going to be giving you guys back because uh, you guys are great to me, you know, especially with the t-shirt campaign. So I want to do a big prize package, and we'll probably do that. I don't know. Maybe in the next video I'll announce it. Um, but if you go to johnsarcade.com, I have a little raffle thing you guys can sign up for. But we'll, we'll do that uh, in the next I – don't, I don't know if it will be the next video or the one after that. So anyway – he goes on, I discovered your videos a year ago and have enjoyed each one. Recently, I lost my Doberman Pinscher. Oh, man, named Sarah of 10 years. Dude, that sucks, man. I, I tell you, when my dog died, I, I couldn't handle it. I, I was a big baby, and my dog was like six or seven. Uh, anyway, he, he lost his dog, Sarah, of 10 years. And during all this, watching your videos with my wife really cheered me up. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, we also started listening to VGO together. I just started collecting and so far have a Konami X-Men and a very nice Turtles in Time. That's right, I see the Turtles in Time in the back of your photo. Uh, we have a pinball on our list next. Keep up the great work and you are such an amazing influence in the gaming community. Uh, Bear Tensley from uh, Lexington, South Carolina. Xbox Live handle thingy. <laughs> Beer love pie. Well, dude, BT, thanks a lot, man. Again, thanks for buying this shirt. Your collection looks like it's on its way here. You got two uh, four-player Konami cabinets. Definitely get a pinball, dude. That's, that, that changes you. I'm telling you, when I got my first pinball machine, because I started out with just the vids, and then I got a pinball, and I, then I started rethinking the whole, ho whole hobby. And luckily, the pinball bug didn't grab hold of me too much, because if it did, I don't know where I'd be right now. But, but yeah, definitely, I think a pinball would go well, BT. Do that. <laughs> All right, moving on. This one's from Steve. Hi, John. Longtime fan and video watcher. Not really a question, but I just thought you might like to see the blanket I created myself for Christmas. <laughs> I, uploaded a, I up, uploaded a photo to one of those photo websites, and the blanket turned out great. Thanks for all the vids, and keep up the great work. Steve in Hiawatha, Iowa. All right, so Steve, all right, let's show his blanket right here. All right, Steve, that's a really good idea. <laughs> so, so he made a giant Pac-Man kill screen blanket by uploading, uh, I guess, a screenshot to one of those print your own whatever websites. Dude, that's a good idea. I'm surprised they didn't, like, maybe not do that for copyright. I don't know, but I like how that looks. <laughs> that's a big blanket, too. I like that, dude. So that, thanks for sharing, man. Very cool. <laughs> um, all right, let's go on here. This one's from Martin. 
Uh, hi John, I've been watching your videos for a while now, and I'm pretty much addicted to your channel. I always look forward to see what games or road chips you'll come up with next. My question for you is this, which golf arcade game do you think is the best? I currently have a global VR PGA Tour challenge that I really like, but I also have an opportunity to pick up a Golden Tee in the near future. I know there are a few other titles out there too. Uh, what golf games have you played, and which one would you pick as your favorite? Uh, Marty911 in California. Okay, well, listen, for me, it's Golden Tee because that's the game I played in the bars with my wife, okay? And when I started building the arcade in the basement, I knew I had to have a Golden Tee. And so I would love to have like a Golden Tee live, but they're just really expensive. Maybe they're getting lower right now. But, you know, the PGA Golf Tour, that's like the EA one, right? I've played that one and I think it's good and I've heard a lot of people say it, it's maybe better than Golden Tee, but I don't think that the PGA had a lot of support like Golden Tee. Like Golden Tee, there's a million flavors and map packs and all that stuff. I've got the Golden Tee Complete over there, which is like a 2006 or seven unit. So mine is obviously older now, but you know, at the hangar, uh, the other operator that has a couple games in there, he's got a Golden Tee Live. And it plays exactly the same as mine. Yeah, graphically it's better, but I don't know. I, I like Golden Tee a lot. I, I think the 4 Series is really solid and fun. I would love to get a live or, or the unplugged version or just something that's uh, like three, four years old. I'd be pretty happy with that. And maybe I'll, I'll upgrade someday. I don't know. But, you know, the newer ones are all LCD now. I don't I don't even know if you can run the, like the latest ones on a CRT. I don't know. But I would consider getting another Golden Tee, like a, a much newer one down here. I don't know, I've thought about it, but, but, but you know, for me, I have to say Golden Tee because that's where my loyalty is and that's the one I really want and that's the one I really played. Like, I seriously played Golden Tee in the bars, like, a lot. So, so I, I'm sticking with Golden Tee, Marty. So, all right, next one here. I did print four, didn't I? All right, next one here is from uh, Jack, okay? He says, hi, John, it's me, Jack. I am 12 years old and I am from Ireland. <laughs> First of all, I'm a huge fan of John's Arcade. I love how there is someone else who loves these games too. I love the John and Jay's Arcade idea, thanks. I, I hope you like this video. I think that will help fit new games in. I also can't wait for the year-end review. They are my favorite. Yeah, I gotta squeeze that in. I really wanted to get that out on Friday. I'm starting to panic because this video got a little bit bigger and more ambitious than I anticipated. And anyway, I built my own MAME arcade machine, which I made two years ago with the help from my dad. It runs 100 games, half I don't even play. What do you think? Yeah, that happens, you know? Like when I had the 60 and one or, or even my MAME cabin. Okay, so I'll give you an example. I have a MAME computer inside my Miss Pac-Man upstairs. The number one played game on that MAME computer is Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> and then maybe like Galaga. It's like those are the top two. And then like the other whatever hundreds of games that are on that MAME computer, I just, every now and then I'll just browse and play something. But I just tend to play Miss Pac-Man and Galaga on that thing. So I totally get you. And that same thing happened to me when I had a 16-1 in the machine. Um, anyway, he goes on. I have a question though. I'm trying to find a Pac-Man arcade machine and I can't find one anywhere. There is no deals for arcade machines in Ireland, so I went searching. I searched on eBay and I did find ones at the right price, around 500 euros. Annoyingly, they were all from America and they wanted you to pick up at their house. I'm not wasting 24 hours to go on a plane and pick up a Pac-Man. <laughs> could you do that? <laughs> I don't know if you could put, put a Pac-Man in your luggage. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, then I found ones which were nearer to Ireland and do ship, but they cost too much, roughly, roughly 1,500 pounds, uh, I mean euros. I even searched on Craigslist with your search term, okay? Uh, it, it didn't even find an arcade machine. So I'm stuck on finding one and would like some help. How will I find a Pac-Man arcade machine now? Is there a certain website I need to go to? Shall I find another cabinet, which was a Pac-Man cabinet, but was converted? I hope you can help. <laughs> so, now he sent me some photos of his MAME cabinet. Let me show you his MAME machine right here. All right, so there you go. So there, there is Jack's MAME machine. He sent me a bunch of photos. It, it looks great, man. It looks, it looks very fun, right? You have a horizontal monitor, okay, which obviously is a problem because Pac-Man's vertical. I see it's a little stretched, but I'm sure it's totally playable. And, and Pac-Man runs great in MAME. But you want the original cabinet. I get that. Okay, 
okay, so you're in Ireland, I'm in not, okay, so I don't know the lay of the land as much as others might, but I have a couple ideas, okay? There is one website I know that has a ton of Europeans on, on it, okay? It's called dragonslairfans.com. Really nice, helpful guys there, okay? I don't know if there's guys from Ireland on there, but I know there's guys from the Netherlands and UK. Maybe someone over there can help you get a Pac-Man. I guess the point here in general, though, is you need... And by the way, have your dad do this with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there with chatting, what they're talking about. So make sure your dad signs you up an account over there <laughs> but go to dragonslayerfans.com maybe make a post say i'm in ireland i'm looking for an original pac-man machine i mean they made a ton of pac-mans i don't know did a lot of the midway style ones is that what you want like the usa style did those get over there um i'm sure they did i would go to dragonslayerfan.com it's a smaller website nice community there um also uh uk uh uk v oh god let me I hope I don't screw this up. UK VGAC, I think it is. That's it. No, that's a UK form. Can you drive to the UK? Is there like fjords or something and channels you need to go through? It's UK, UK VG. Now I want to go look this up. Hang on a second. Okay, so the site I, I'm trying to think of is UK VAC. UK, I'm sorry, UK guys. I, I, I've been on the site. I don't have an account there. So <laughs> it's not part of my everyday talk. You know, it's, it's UK VAC. Okay, that is a UK arcade form. I understand you're in Ireland. You'd have to take a boat or something or ferry. Is there a ferry? There's got to be a ferry. <laughs> it's probably easier than trying to put a Pac Man on an airplane. I don't know, it's just an idea. Maybe you could start somewhere around there at dragonslayerfans.com and UKVAC. Maybe those guys can point you to the Ireland guys. I'm sure the Ireland guys are know the UK guys. I don't know, do you guys like each other? <laughs> maybe you do, maybe you don't, but talk to them, they're closer. <laughs> That's what I would do. Have you and your father go make accounts at UKVAC and, and dragonslayerfans.com. Is dragonslayerfan.com? Whatever. It's, it, just Google it. You'll find it. And make accounts there and say you live in Ireland. You're looking for a Pac-Man. Maybe someone close by with a boat can, can help you out. <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> so if anyone knows of an Ireland arcade collector forum or something that I don't know about, post in the comments below. So anyway... Jack, thanks for watching. I hope you I hope you like the videos. Hope you like this one. We did we did the John and Jay's arcade thing today. So anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Um well, what else? I, I guess that's it. Send your viewer mail to John and John's arcade.com. Now, okay, so we, we gotta do the urine video. I wanted to cram in a whole bunch of videos this week, and clearly I I, I don't know. I, I'm running out of time already. And I gotta get the Hong Kong video done. We got right now. The year in review is top priority after this video. So I'm gonna start working on that on Wednesday and try to get it out for Friday. That's my hope. So, anyway, enough of that. Uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that stuff, guys. We're, I think we're gonna hit 30,000 subs before the new year. We're very close. I haven't looked. Uh, I think earlier today we were like 40 away or something. So we're like right there. So that was kind of my goal for the year to get to 30,000. I think we're going to do it. I, I definitely think we are. I, I don't know. So so if you've never subscribed, be sure to subscribe and, and then like and comment and all that stuff. Again, check out our, uh, uh, the John and Jay's Arcade Facebook page at facebook.com slash John and Jay's Arcade. And uh, what else? My podcast, Video Game Outsiders, we have an app, a, a podcasting app. You can download it on iTunes or Google Play. It's a free app. It's the best way to listen to the podcast. And also there's extra content on there where I do do some viewer mail uh, stuff, uh, you know, arcade related stuff that does require a dollar ninety nine month of subscription. You know, again, just search for Video Game Outsiders on Google Play and iTunes. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys actually very soon. I I'm planning on it. Maybe I'll sneak in a really quick quick video tomorrow we'll do something light and fun i'll do that kind of in between working on the end of end of year video because that end of year video takes forever and, and it's a very big file and it takes forever to upload and for youtube actually this video is gonna be a problem too I, I don't know when this is coming out anyway enough of that i'll see you guys very soon thanks again for everything guys i'll see you very soon later and bye